Cool. So, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is this is kind of a fun thing. You're in Texas. This is Paula, everybody. Um, we met at CF. And um, yeah, I think this the, we have fun possibilities to chat about. You're at the ranch in Texas. Yeah, I'm in Texas now. We're having now conscious horse, conscious rider training with Gary. So it's like, whoa. <laughs> Very interesting. I've been feeling some of the changes. So maybe eliminate us with what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, basically this morning we talk about a lot of about being with the horse and really being inside um, horse's head. And it was, and it was very funny because uh, Pam in a, in a funny way asked Gary and, and he says, Hey, and this is how also you are in our head. Yes. And, and also it's like, whoa. So, and also we were talking about the being in control, but not in like in this reality, we're supposed to have control of things. So it's very interesting about uh, being in, in anything, in everything in your life. How can I be in control and how can I be inside my family's head, my business partner head? How can I be like very melted in a melted way inside people's head? So in order to be like the, to be like the main energy and be the one who's leading everything no? and, and with That's interesting. everyone. So like you're, you're talking about being in their head, but not, not losing yourself in the process. Exactly. Like not being, but yourself. being, wow. Exactly. Not losing yourself, being with them, let them be themselves, but also knowing that you can be in their heads and lead them whatever you want mm. if they if they wanted to. Huh? It's like I don't know. For example, I have I have a ranch with my brothers and my sister, and mm. it's like, and this is popping on on my head like a lot because mm -hmm. we do business all together, and it's like I was not able to just get in them to do what I know it's the best way to be in business. And it was like, holy fuck. I was just trying to make them do what I want instead of being inside their heads and lead them whatever I want to. And not because it's that's that what I want. It's just because I'm the one they don't do con they don't do access stuff. My my three I have three brothers and a sister. <coughs> so my siblings are not doing access. So it's like I'm the only one who's doing questions. Hmm. Questions about the business, questions about the land, questions about the horses. And it's like I'm the only one who's doing questions. It sounds like you're the one who's driving the business or the vision of where you can go with it and they're just sort of going for the ride yeah but they don't want sometimes i'm having like hard strong uh, a hard time with them because mm -hmm. it's like i'm seeing stuff i'm seeing the future and i know we had to lead this way and it's like no daddy always made it this way this way yeah. or here in argentina we do it this way this way and it was like I was trying to convince them and force them to do what I know we can't do. And it's been like several stuff that I was saying to them, hey, let's do A, do A. And they wanted to B, 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 B. And then it's, it turns out that A was the best choice. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want to have, I don't, I, I don't want to have the reason and, I, and, and I don't, we, I, I don't want to like be, right 
It's just that I do questions and I can see the business in another way. And mm -hmm. how can I be with them and be in control by getting into their heads mm -hmm. and just try and just leave them? It's it's very, very interesting morning about talking about control being in in other one's head. So also sometimes people just don't get what you do in a conscious or conscious writer class. Right. And, <clears throat> and this is one thing that you do to lead, to be a leader. It's like conscious or conscious writer, it's about to be a leader. So it's like very, very, it's a very interesting class. And we're this morning while Gary was just messing up with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gary, huh? <laughs> I could feel that. Like there was something very, um, it's like the ground is disappearing in front of you. Um, and and I'm just, it. I guess it makes you be more in question of, okay, where, where am I going? What am I creating? What would it take to be so clear and have such a large vision that I'm enthusiastic about it every day because there's the tendency to, you know, oh, I want to create this, but it's still maybe this reality and it's not large enough for us to continue growing and expanding. And then we get bored. And also it's very interesting what happened after the, the pandemia. It was like, everything is so in a short place that lots of people just stopped creating their future because we're supposed to be dead in one month or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know if I can fly in the next month or, or whatever this reality want us to believe. And it was, and it's very interesting how the future is just changing so much because also like points of view about future are changing a lot. So what's, what's, really, what's really possible now that the thing that we thought it was the future, now we can create it in a so fucking different space that it's totally, totally different. And it's like, what about us leading the creation of the future? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Have you also noticed that it's no longer about time anymore? It, like time is gone and there's space or no space, depending on what you're choosing. But it's like, I don't know, day, like even the days of the week, what day is it? It doesn't matter. It's just space. Yes, it's changing a lot. And it's like, also it's like, I think the points of view of earth also are like changing a lot about it. And it's like, so what about all that, all those points of view that were about the earth is going to just be no longer available for humans and such a kind of year because we're going to contaminate it and we're going to destroy the earth and blah 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 and it's like also what about us being a space so different for the earth that that future that it was like so a destructive future <laughs> it's no longer there it's a different stuff Yep, so true. Wow. So is this day three of your class? Day one. Day one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is day this... one. <laughs> How many days is it? Four. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, so we're still ahead with lots of stuff for this class. 
Yeah, I remember being on a ranch many years ago and uh, <coughs> one of the owners was like, you can't walk up to a horse because the horse will walk away. And I was like, well, hold on a second. <laughs> And I know that you can pull energy from the horse and, and walk up to it and it will walk towards you. Yep. But he didn't like, he was just so much in the, this is how you do it. <laughs> and I, I walked right up to the horse and the horse came toward me. And it was funny because my husband went over to his horse and the horse walked away. <laughs> And, uh, and they realized it's like, wow, these are the energies that you just be. When you walk up to a horse, you can perceive the energy that you're being. If they walk away, you're pushing. Yeah. And if yeah, they stay or come towards you, you're pulling. Yeah. And also in, in, in the class, we just like develop a lot about our capacities of pulling or pushing. It's very interesting because really the horse is going to do what the thing that you're doing, if you're pulling, it's going to come. If you're pushing, you're, it's going to go away. And sometimes it happens to people that they think, for example, they're, they are pulling people to the classes and they're pushing and they don't know how the difference. And it's yeah. like in the class, you really can be aware when you're pushing, where you're pulling, and it's it's amazing how also you then then you go into life and you just know when to pull, how to pull, how to pull more <coughs> to your classes. So it's like if you're a bar facilitator to go to a conscious work, conscious writer, it's like, whoa, you're gonna change lots of things in your business. Because I know lots of people that they 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 just said. I'm pulling people to my class and nobody's coming. And it's like, honey, you're not pulling, you're pushing. No, mm. that's not true. And uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah when uh, when you have lie. a horse in front of you, it's like, it's so fucking, you're pulling, you're pushing. It's not, an, <clears throat> it's not in a question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. So what else? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So. <sighs> yeah, it's just such a nice space. I can I can perceive the space there. Yeah. And really. also being with horses, it's like I think we're going. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm going to be talking again here. <laughs> where are you? I'm wearing a boot shop. <laughs> Fun. I no vamos. Okay. <laughs> yep. Did they find boots? <laughs> yes. They find some boots. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yes. Nothing like being in the West and finding some cowboy boots. Yes. And there have like tons, tons. Julie Tutton. Oh, Julie. Here we are. Hi, with... Julie. Hi. Jossa. How are you? And Veronica Parker. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We are Hi. all crazy people that are in the training. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, totally crazy, huh? <laughs> I love it. I love like these things that are on the go and <laughs> all the different nuances that show up. Yeah. Yes. Let's go to Fuentes. Like We're, having... <laughs> <laughs> We're having lunch. <laughs> Well, that sounds like so much fun. I wish I was there with you guys. Yeah, they're why asking are here, why aren't you here in the ranch, huh? I had other things this weekend. <laughs> but hey, oh, you're frozen. Will you come back?
Oh, well, it's a really beautiful photo of you being happy frozen. Um, um, oh, there you are. You were frozen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I asked and I received all the books. And now I have a book. I was not feeling really very comfy after the. I have to say no. no. Not wear rubber boots, and I have like a rubber boots on. So okay, it's kind of hard to hear you. I have so this one. It, we can. Um, this way. Oh, okay. this way is better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Oh, you're frozen again. So maybe we should just wrap it up. Um, it was really, it was really fun <laughs> chatting for a couple minutes. Um, and talking about horses. Oops, you're muted. Oh, here, I'm back. There you go. Yeah. There's a you yeah. know, technical difficulties. How does it get better than this? <laughs> yeah. When you go to a ranch, just like that. I know that's a real uh, curious and funny thing about uh, conscious or conscious writer classes. It's like you go to a ranch, you may have no internet, you may have, uh, you may have like no air condition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's really an adventure and it's like, so, and also sometimes it's like getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So how, how many times we are not like, like, uh, it's very hard for us to go out of our comfort zone. And sometimes it, it is what it's required to get like, to get where you want to go. Very true. Yeah. What are we doing? Comfort is not necessarily the best option. It's not. <laughs> it's funny how uh, how I've always thrown myself into situations where I needed to grow. Like I I just couldn't sit in that comfort comfortable known familiar territory. I I've always ventured out. And it's always created more. So what would it take for more people to choose that? Yes. Yes. And getting out of their comfort zone, it's not like uh, suffering or like pushing so hard also. It's not. Sometimes we misapply and misidentify that getting out of your comfort zone is just suffering and it's not. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and, and I know it, it could be fun. Who knew? <laughs> it could be fun. Yes, <laughs> it could be fun. Um, you can be uh, exterrified also. It's like it's a very, it's a very good definition. Yeah, from access, exterrified, like, exciting and terrified at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's like public speaking. Yes, <laughs> you know, you get up there and you're like, oh my God, but then, you know, really cool stuff comes out of your mouth. <laughs> yes, and never it turns out the way you think you want it to be. <laughs> so true. Well, do you have anything coming up that you want to share with people? Yes, like in New Jersey, we're having Conscious Horror, Conscious Rider next weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're very excited to, to have this class. So I'm um, my hosts are Veronica Parker and, and, and Carla. You're going to Maestro? So it's like uh, we get a place that they that they were like they were rescuing some horses mm. and. Yeah, and the horses are like very, 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 very grateful about it. And it's a place that <coughs> they work with kids with disease and all this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. the place is amazing. Um, and we're gonna have like lots of 
tons of fun and and all this stuff that we were talking about about being present in your life about uh being a greater puller for your business and to be in everyone's mind and be the energy that leads your life your business your family so it's like this weekend in new jersey awesome well everybody get on over there i'm sure it's going to be awesome yeah i have a foundation this coming weekend so i'll be here in sunny california if anybody else wants to join that yeah east We're coast west coast forest bathing <laughs> what's that east coast west coast yes yes <laughs> we'll contribute energetically to each other's creations Yay. And how does it get better? Yay. Yay. Well, thanks for coming on. Um, and thanks everybody for watching now and in future. And um, how much more fun can we have leading our lives and, <laughs> and creating from space and ease? Yes, for everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.